The name of this story is The Thing by the Porn. There was this time, Sam and Mark went fishing. And the place where they went, they were fishing, it was pretty far in some deep woods off the main road. And had anyone been back there for two years, just the man that kept the grass cut around the ponds, and there were three of them. And the man that cut the grass was named Joe. And he told them to keep an eye on the back pond because he had seen something very huge lurking around back there. He said that when he was cutting back there, he would see something standing back in the tree line peeping at him. And he was glad to have a cab on his tractor, but it might not have been enough. So he hurried he hurriedly got done because he could feel eyes looking at him. But when he looked back at the spot, it was gone. So was he. He told them, I don't know what it was, but like I said, it was huge and on two feet, standing about eight feet tall with broad shoulders. And he told them it was an unpleasant smell there, too, and to be careful. And asked them, were they armed? And they said they was. Then he took them. Then he told them to keep their truck closed, just in case. And he left. After he left, Sam said, man, you think he saw something out here? Mark said, man, you seen that half a paint he had? Hell, he was just seeing shadows of trees. You know how he is when he's drinking. He's always seeing things that no one else sees. And they didn't think twice about what Joe had told them. They went on with their day of fishing. The morning was going fine and they were catching some nice sized fish. Just enjoying the day. So they wanted to try the second point before it got too late. And then maybe the back point if it didn't get too hot for the day. Now, when they got to the second point, they could see the back point. And it was at the edge of the woods. And there were steep and deep slopes on this side of the woods. Where you could see straight down through parts of the woods. And they were... Thick and spooky. So they cast their lines and waited to see what was biting. And they were there for about a half an hour when they heard splashing in the back pond, like big fish were jumping all over there. Now they had to go back there now. Man, that sounded like a big one, Mark said to Sam. Sam said, let's go see what we could catch. And they proceeded to the back pond, just ready to catch something big. When they got there, there was a very unpleasant smell. But they wasn't thinking about what Joe had told them about the back pond. They cast a line and asked each other, how big you think? that fish was and then suddenly they heard a high pitched whistle, whistle from those steep slopes by the woods and it was a little ways down the slopes they looked at each other and asked what the hell was that Sam said I don't know but I know it's not any bird I ever heard before then from the other side of the pond that was going through the creek that fed this point, they heard a big splash again, and there they saw where someone or something had threw a large rock toward their way, splashing almost in front of them, and that awful smell was bad. Then they heard another whistle, and this one was also high-pitched but sharper, and they looked to where the rock had landed in the water. And 
They said, what the hell was that? And as they were wondering what it was, a loud tree knock was heard from where the, where the sharp whistle came from. And the smell was also stronger. They noticed that everything had gotten quiet. And that was strange. Now, they knew that it had to be a predator around. And they started thinking about what Joe had told them about the back porn. Sam said, man, something is, something's watching us. And Mark said, I can feel it. And again, there was a loud knock. But this time, it was coming from down the creek to where the rock had came from. And they said, we got to get out of here. Then there was a whoop, whoop, where the sharper whistle came from. And there wasn't anything more thrown. It stopped, and then there was something massive walking back towards the sound of the second whistle. It looked, it looked at us and was gone. And so was the smell. And it was about eight feet tall, really broad shoulders, and were damn, glad it was on. It was going the other way. As it was crashing through the water and trees, and we watched it as it went to make sure it was gone. And then we got out of there. And the next time Joe tells us something, we're going to listen. And just as it was out of sight, the sounds came back. Thank God we didn't. We did keep our truck closed. Thank you.